Hello friends, welcome back to another new video and in today's video we are again going to learn QBasic programming. In today's video will be a bit short as I have no basic topics here and today we will only learn about the RAM statement, the input statement and uh, we will do one or two programs on these statements. So let's start. Alright, so today we will first of all we will learn about the REM statement R E M. So REM statement is basically used to write remarks about any program uh, and which shows the purpose of a program. Means this REM statement is written as it shows the purpose of that particular program. And it's a non executable uh, statement and that is the computer or the QBasic will ignore that content of the RAM statement uh, at the time of execution of that program. Means it is a uh, non executable uh, statement, you can say. It will just ignore it. So you may write it or may not write it, and it depends on you. It uh, doesn't mean to waste our time, so statement is not written by us basically. Alright, so as you can see, I have opened my QBasic screen. Alright, so now we will try one program with that RAM statement. And the syntax of RAM is RAM and then the content of that RAM. Suppose, uh, today's tutorial suppose first of all we have to write uh, CLS as we all know that press enter to go to the next line and then only next line only we write rem uh, today's tutorial for example I am just saying that today's tutorial so it just uh, uh, it is just Show, showing the purpose of this uh, our program all right and you can write it, uh, write this today's tutorial this content in short letter also and you don't have to write this thing in a uh, uh, double quotation mark uh, i will just do this uh, just a second i will give this our tutorial and I will print one statement if you don't know how to use print if you don't know what is QBasic if you don't know how to download QBasic you have to first see my uh, two videos that I have already made on QBasic links are given in the i button and uh, in the description box also alright so now let's print one statement that my name is is Shubu all right and let's end the program and press F5 and it's creating an dot exe file which is an executable file and which is an uh, output screen of the program so it will just ignore that RAM the content in the RAM statement it will just ignore that one and it will just print our name that is my name is Shubu I will just print that if you don't write rem also then also it will, it will print my uh, my name is sure so it, it, it is just uh, ignoring that rem statement and uh, so it's a non executable st uh, statement we could say and it is written so that it uh, shows the purpose of the program so when you are coding in QBasic, RAM statement is non-executable and we don't write it. Alright. Let's turn it off. Let's delete it. Now let's learn about input statement and then we will do two or three program in our QBasic. So oh, suppose for example the let statement lat statement if you don't know what is it watch my uh, two videos on qbasic which i have already made so suppose for example let 
a is equal to 15 let b is equal to 10 let c is equal to a plus b so when we will c so what will happen it will a uh, plus b this uh, process it will do well it will just add that and it will print the c right so this program is giving us the sum of just two values that has been assigned to it but suppose if we want to find the sum on any two numbers the red statement will fail to perform the task any two numbers since we are not assigning a value so if we are doing that so the let statement will obviously fail that task so to pos uh, to do this this input statement will help us means it will make this problem possible as if we just tell them that of any two numbers then the input statement will do that if we are using let statement so we have to assign the value but if we do not assign the value the input statement helps us to do that now what is the syntax of input statement first of all it's the main thing that we have to learn about the syntax of that input statement the syntax of that input statement is input then the numeric variable for example input then n or for uh, then input alphanumeric variable for example input a dollar for alphanumeric variable what have to do input then alphanumeric variable for example input a dollar and for numeric variable suppose for example input n so like that so this is the simple syntax of our input statement and it's very simple to do that now suppose oh uh, now we will do input statement using numeric variables with messages so it will allow us to write messages along with the input statements to make the program more understandable this is a task of the qbasic now means uh, the qbasic will allow us to write messages along with that input statement to make that program more understandable so we can understand the program more easily so the messages are written just after the input and within double quotes always it's written within double quotes and it also highlights the data types which are to be entered during the execution of the program for example we uh, will do one program suppose for example we will write CLS obviously while starting the program we have to write this CLS command then press enter to jump to that next line then here we will give the input statement and we will give this uh, double quotes where we will uh, give our message for example enter uh, the first number uh, just a second enter the first number then here we have to give for example this is a numeric variable so we will give a suppose here we will not give any dollar sign so we will give a so after semicolon we have to give a semicolon then you can provide that numeric variable press enter to jump to that next line now again we can give a number suppose for example input oh, just a second I just always we have to write in capital letters that's the thing so input then we'll give that double quotation mark then here we will give enter second number right so we are given here enter second number and now we'll again give that semicolon and for example here the numeric variable we will give b for example press on enter to jump to that next line again uh, now 
we will give C for example and here we will give equal to and A plus B so the value of C is becoming A plus C the sum of A, A and B is C that we are assigning press enter to jump to the next line and now we will print Uh, the sum uh, just a second the sum of two numbers of two numbers this is one example okay equal to suppose we'll give it equal to and uh, then after you have written that message then give the semicolon and then you have to assign that value C right press enter and give end to end that program press F5 on your keyboard and as you can see it is creating an executable file which is our output screen which will provide us with the output of this program and QBasic is very simple. It's one of the simplest language. So here it is telling us the message that enter the first number means we have to enter the first number. As if we don't assign the value, we can't also do that uh, sum, and computer won't be able to do that sum. So here we have to assign that value. So first number, for example, it's 65 press enter and it will tell you to enter that second number so suppose it's 88 and when you will press enter it will show you the message sum of two numbers is 153 so it's very simple to do this mathematical operations using QBasic right now let me tell you some of the important points while using input statement in QS. First point, if you are using a numeric variable with the input statement, your response to the question mark should be numeric. Okay, what does this mean that I told you? This means that if you are assigning a numeric variable as here I have told you A so your uh, that here enter the first number you have to give it a numeric as you can see i have given it in numeric form like that if you now second point if you are assigning an alphanumeric variable with the input statement your response to the question mark should be alphanumeric right it's the same like that only no last point if the data doesn't match with the variable used in the program the computer displays a message redo from start it means that the computer is asking you to enter appropriate data with respect to the variable used in the program okay so it's with simple meaning now we will do this input statement with numeric and alphanumeric variables with numbers or with messages let me minimize this and let me choose all this stuff just a second delete this or right. now for example I'm doing another program here I on my caps lock CLS click enter then here I give the input statement and now I'm providing it with that double quotation mark and here if I give enter name uh, sorry class and then suppose for example roll number now after that we obviously provide it with the semicolon and then we will give a alphanumeric variable for example n dollar 
hear this all our examples practice it on your own so that you can master q basic press enter to jump to the next line then suppose cl uh, here sorry for that i didn't want to do that here comma as we can see here in the name class and roll number so these are three things that we have to do so here for name i have give n given n dollar for class i will give this cl dollar comma and for roll number i will give here numeric variable as roll number is a number that is numeric uh, it's a numeric data so you have to give numeric variable here i will give it r then we will press enter to jump to the next line sorry all right now we will give print here name uh, sorry name and here we will provide semicolon and then n dollar as we have given uh, in the line that is before this now we can give print class uh, like this i will only copy this one and here i will paste this here i will paste this also here i will do some changes here we will give class uh, I'll give you this in class as we have provided uh, in the last time it's c l dollar and at the last here is the roll number and here we will provide it with r since we have given r press enter to jump to the next line give end to end this program press f5 and it will give you that output really quick uh, just wait for some time it's starting the program and here we are so it's <laughs> asking us the roll number for example uh, asking us for the enter name class roll number first we will give your name suppose for example oh sorry for that uh, and then for Mukoji comma then class 7 I think and here after that comma I will give my roll number here uh, alright I will provide it with hmm, I will give it not like that but I think I should give it like this 7 C and uh, with uh, my roll number uh, I can give 11 uh, not 11 I am um, 39 is my roll number enter so as you can see it printed my name class and roll number as well and if we didn't give here the roll number so it will show us the message that redo from start so like that so this was one of the program and last program that we will do is just a simple program that uh, you can practice write a program in QBasic to accept your name class total marks obtained in 11 subjects Display your name, class, total marks, and average marks obtained in the examination. So, this question how to solve this question 
if it comes in your exam, it can be a practical exam on such exams. It's very simple. First, obviously, we have to give the CLS command to clear the screen. Now, here we will use a let statement, let n, then dollar. Here we will provide our name. Uh, for example, Shubhra Mukherjee. We are given our name. Jump to the next line. Now suppose my class let cl dollar equal to uh, my class is seven c. Go to the next line. Let t is equal to. This is our total marks. For example. 900 hit enter now let avg which is the average equal to for example uh, that is we know t by 11 hit enter this is total by 11 so that uh, it means that our average is t by 11 so it is giving our average result now here we will print now print uh, here I will provide it with name and here with semicolon we will give n dollar now print class we will provide it with our cl dollar hit enter to jump to that next line now we will print our total we provide the semicolon and we have given our total as t so we will give t now we will print here uh, print average we can give here equal to for average as well So here average as we have provided AVG for average. So we'll give your AVG after semicolon obviously. AVG. Press enter to jump to that next line. Now we will end the, our program and now it will display our average, our team, our class, our total marks obtained in 11 subjects, these things. So now press F5 and it's creating our executable file that is our output screen. Starting the program and here we are. It provided our us with our name, class, total marks, average. So it was very easy to do that. I hope you like this video, if you like it, click on the like button below, share it with your friends, subscribe my channel with the bell icon, it really motivates me to make this kind of videos. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, till then goodbye, stay safe.